पंचर देना यार ये इसको क्या हो हाय गाइस ये ब्लूपर में डाल देंगे यस यस कयो पंच अब सो वी हैव परीक्षित विद अस एजुकेशन at Azim Premji University in Bangalore so he is here to share his experience as to around student life uh, what are the various career options i don't know um, how is the university overall how does the course curriculum looks like so all of that so i'm so excited to hear your experience with the university welcome to the channel thank you so much kriti uh, so let's begin with the very first question uh, how was your experience with the application process and actually applying to a zim frames university uh, you know appearing for the interview and was it very difficult to get selected or how uh, what would you like to say on that so uh, before sharing about the application process or interview i would like to address one question that is very important for anybody who want to study anything so the first question comes to everyone's mind is what will be the career and uh, why i want to study that course so the course is ma education so uh, like during my bachelor's and also during my schooling i always used to feel that ki why we are having such sort of pattern in our uh, in our education like we just read something and we uh, go in exam uh, and we go for an examination to write that it's okay but are we learning anything out of it are we getting any actual learning out of that so that was an idea which always uh, which always came to me but i was not able to address that so when when i got to know about this program that is ma education so uh, i was quite excited to to be able to learn like how how education should be how we should approach the education and how we can make the education uh, more inclusive for the students because Uh, i can relate uh, that education was never interesting for me and for ev- ev- everyone also for those who are watching this so i uh, i wanted to create a space i wanted to i i, I wanted to learn so that i uh, i will be able to make education inclusive for up, uh, for uh, for upcoming generation or for children in school so that was the basic idea which made me to choose this program ma education and if i talk about application or the examination it was not very difficult it was it was quite easy to crack but when it comes to interview they check whether you are having the interest in education and the part which i said earlier that if you are having a clear why that why you want to go for this so in interview they only asked about uh, my interest in education to what i said that i have worked with an ngo that is delhi's welfare foundation where we used to teach uh, children from slum areas or low income backgrounds during weekends and i used to enjoy that thing a lot so uh, with that journey i came up to know about this ma education and now i am hoping that i will be i will be able to make an impact to the life of children so that uh, like they will not be fearful about education or not be fearful about going to schools so that is the basic idea with which i am pursuing this course and, and i aspire to bring a change so thank you so much kriti for asking this question that is really you know very inspirational indeed because uh, you have specifically stated your purpose as to why you have been into this college and why are you actually studying this course so your purpose is really you know inspiring for many of us and uh, especially i'm sure that for the people watching as well so uh, w- would you like to tell something about the course curriculum you know and how does the uh, student life at a zim prems university actually look like okay so <clears throat> if i talk about the course so in the first semester we studied sociology of education philosophy of education uh, subjects like uh, subjects like child development and learning which is basically a uh, children psychology which helped us to build the foundation in terms of education 
because when you are studying education you, just, you should be able to know every each and every perspective of education what is the social impact what is the philosophy behind it and what is the uh, and what is the psychology of children because you are going to teach them so if someone asks me what is the fundamental thing you should know before being a teacher or before entering a classroom so i would say and it's not my philosophy but what i have read and what i have experienced till now that you should be able to understand what is the level of children and uh, what is the knowledge uh, which they already have so that you can start from that point because if you go uh, if you go below that point it will be students will think like we already know all of this and if you start above that point it will be like uh, it will be like ki, uh, why this teacher is like in hindi we can say uh, like मतलब पका क्यों रहा है सो इन दैट वे आई फील कि इफ यू आर इफ यू आर गोइंग टू टीच चिल्ड्रेन यू शुड नो ऑल ऑफ दिस थिंग्स एंड माय एम एजुकेशन इज स्पेशलाइज इन लैंग्वेज स्टडीज सो वी आर लर्निंग हाउ द लैंग्वेज कैन बी टॉट हाउ द लैंग्वेज कैन बी मोर इंक्लूसिव बिकॉज वेन वी यूज टू रीड पोइट्री ड्यूरिंग अवर स्कूलिंग इफ आई टॉक अबाउट क्लास इलेवंथ एंड ट्वेल्थ इज वेल so we always uh, read poetry for the sake of writing conclusion or summary in the examination which is also helpful in our lives but we were ne- uh, we were not able to uh, appreciate the poetry we were ne- like never be able to see the beauty in those poetry so what i feel that if i will be teaching literature or uh, like language and literature in school i would appreciate the students who, uh, to see the beauty behind the poetry to be able to see the idea author is coming up with and not just to memorize the poems the summary so that is the basic idea which we are working upon yeah that's it definitely that is really important you know all of those aspects which you covered are really very important to be taught in a degree which is like you know which is pertaining to children and you know covering all of the students so uh, i would li- like you to ask you this as well like uh, how is your experience with the faculty is it like you know uh, and how is the faculty and um, what are the kind of opportunities that are available okay so uh, i believe that the faculty was the most crucial part for Uh, for me to choose this university uh, that is rajim pandey university so uh, till now in my school and college experience we have always seen that teacher is uh, teach uh, we have always seen the hierarchy in teachers principals and uh, students that teacher is always above you like you cannot question yeah. him uh, and even if you are questioning him you cannot like uh, i think there is some sort of gap between teachers and the student and you cannot have a conversation like i am having with kriti so uh, i always felt there is a gap between teachers and the students but in apu there is not such any gaps like there is hierarchy here as well but you can go to teacher and you can uh, and you can ask anything whatever is coming up, uh, to your mind you can question the idea which she or she is sharing so there is nothing like that they will say to you, stop why you are asking this why you are coming up with such ideas but they will appreciate you to ask the questions they will appreciate you to come up with such uh, ideas so that is the thing which i uh, which i believe uh, our education should be because uh, the purpose of the purpose of teacher is to teach you something to be able to uh, think to be able to uh, like come up with ideas and if he is not allowing you to uh, share your ideas in a classroom or outside it then how how come you will be able to think and imagine something different agreed totally agreed so that is really important for you to be able to you know experience that kind of flexibility and have that freedom that you actually you know are free to share whatever you think you are free to question whatever the faculty is teaching you so that freedom is really important and i'm really you know appreciate to i'm really glad to hear that uh, i i really appreciate that your college apu is giving that freedom and you know that is really important so uh, what are the extra curricular activities in your college how does you know students spend spend their time outside the classes and uh, yeah so uh, there are, there are a lot of events like uh, that keep on happening in our university uh, be it the seminars webinars or sports music and a lot of activities are there so uh, i don't perf- I, i don't join them a lot but recently i got to know about this thing which is campus radio 
so there is a uh, so there is a radio channel which came uh, which which is started i think uh, recently so uh, yesterday so yes, uh, yesterday only i visited that play uh, i visited that radio channel uh, studio in our campus and i got to see that there is a lot of arrangement uh, which is being made for the students who who write something like poetry stories or anything to be able to share that with all the uh, all the students across the campus and also maybe uh, outside the campus so i went there and i recited a, a few of my poems and one of the poem was being liked by the person who is managing that studio and uh, it might happen that it will be pub- it will be published on the valentines day so all all these activities are being offered by our campus which is quite fruitful and yeah that's it thank you so much that is really great that you know um, the extra curricular activities are really important not just you know for the students uh, overall personality but enhancing their skills and various kind of you know uh, related to anything it cannot be just sports but it can be uh, as you said the extra curricular uh, you know events in terms of writing or maybe theater or maybe enhancing your soft skills you can be a part of a- every event club society anything in college so you have to be really participative in that terms okay so how does fee structure of apu actually look like so uh, first of all uh, the fee uh, like the semester fee is 50000 rupees but if you are coming from low income background if you are not coming from a, uh, from a good uh, if you are coming from low income background there is a lot of scholarships which is being offered by ajim premji foundation which is the backbone of ajim premji university so i have many friends who are on 100% scholarships so they are, uh, so so they need not to pay the tuition fees or accommodation fees and also they get scholarships for food so if you are not uh, capable enough uh, in terms of financial situation though you can study in uh, ajim premji university because it offers a lot of scholarships and uh, also if if you are not able to get a scholarship there is one more uh, thing which they offer that is student student assistantship so if you are having some uh, if you are having any skill set like content writing translation or anything else uh, you can uh, you can enroll yourself for that activity and you can earn some uh, income out of that to be able to manage your expenses so currently i am engaged uh, into the translation activity so that i will be able to manage my expenses here so overall it's quite a inclusive idea so that uh, anybody can afford the education here that's really great and once you are you know the kind of right candidate if you will actually not allow you to go and it will you know kind of provide you the uh, scholarships which come from its foundation funding all of that and uh, you know just just have faith and have trust on the foundation for sure so um, i would also like to ask you about the you know kind of placements which are there so what do you have to say about that are they really good are they satisfactory are they worth it or not? so uh, i don't think i'm the right person to say that because uh, uh, still i am in the first year and the placement will happen on the second year but what i have seen up to uh, up to this point is that there are several ngos which which comes to our campus for the placement uh, can you just repeat that okay from the answer part yeah so there are many companies which comes for the placement in our, in our campus a uh, few names which i remember uh, those are reliance foundation vidan ajim premji foundation uh, mantra for change and many more so these are the organizations which are working uh, in in education and livelihood so uh, they offer placement for education and development children uh, development students so uh, there are many company uh, many social sector organizations are coming to our campus to offer placement though there is some challenge in terms of income because social sector don't offer uh, a great income as like corporate sector but if you are having the if you are having the desire to work in social sector you will enjoy that and it pays you it pays you decent amount definitely so thank you so much for sharing that and you know and from your experiences i can see that you know kind of placements which are offered are really good and it it's really subjective depending upon the students whether you know which kind of uh, companies would they like to opt for so thank you so much parikshit for you know sharing your experiences experiences any last thoughts on you know what would your suggestion 
be to your juniors and you know what would you be, like to say to the people aspiring to join this university so uh, the thing which i said from the very beginning part as well that you should uh, like you should have a clear why that why you want to go for this place is it just because of placement then i would suggest don't come because it's like placement you will get for this year but the challenge which will come before that it's is not very easy to manage and not only in terms of academics but if you really want to work in education domain uh, only then you will be able to uh, sacrifice all the uh, like uh, maybe i'm not able to say uh, very well but i feel that if you are having the consistency to uh, if you are having the consistency to read if you are uh, having the passion to change the education only then you will be able to uh, you will be able to help yourself uh, by coming to apu and uh, i guess that's the basic idea to join any uh, any university or any course that you should be able to like it or you should be able to work on that sector for a long term so i think that's the basic idea and thank you so much kriti for inviting me here to talk about my campus ajim film university and yeah that's it thank you so much for sharing that and it's really true that you know uh, you have the power to choose your purpose and if you are really resonating with the university you are going into then only staying away from your family your hometown will be actually worth it right so you should have a strong purpose for yourself and thank you so much for sharing your thoughts actually what are your experiences and you know what are the kind of exceptions which the university has so thank you so much for sharing and um, uh anything there is you would like to say any kind of improvements or you know negative points also you find about the university you are free to share that as well i don't find i don't find any negative point uh, as such but there is one thing which i have uh, which i feel now is that uh, when i uh, when i joined this campus uh, ajim film university for the education program i was having a lot of ideas about education like bringing a change Uh, like bringing a change in education and a lot of expectations were there but after after studying for one semester now i know what are the challenge uh, like what what sort of challenges our education system is facing and if you want to bring a small change even though you have to work even though you have to work a lot and there are many people who are working upon it so we always complain is that our education system is not good our education is lacking this or lacking that but when you actually start working upon that it's not that easy my friend you, you actually so, get into the ground yeah, you get yeah. on field and then you realize yeah. you know what kind of changes and yeah. what kind of hard work actually goes into changing the education hmm. system exactly so thank you so much for richard for sharing and it was really insightful um, i am sure that a lot of students will be help from what you explained to them so thank you so much for sharing and i hope you have a good day thank you so much kriti and please do subscribe to her channel and yeah thanks for watching